So this started back in 2014. Uh, a buddy of mine approached me and said, uh, Chris Stout, and he said, hey, we're thinking about starting an organization. We want to do something to help homeless vets. And unfortunately, a lot of the programs that exist today are very helpful to vets. However, there's a lot of hoops to jump through. And we wanted to make it easy for uh, veterans who are living on the streets to be able to get into a house quickly and then uh, get, get help. And so then we kind of kept putting our heads together, met with some other folks, and uh, came up with the idea of tiny houses for our homeless vets. Well, initially, it was Mark was going to get us a list of properties and then uh, kind of go away. But Mark stuck around. Uh, you know, and it was kind of the best thing. The reality is, is uh, you know, Mark brought a lot of phenomenal people to help launch this thing. I was just uh, an army guy that really just didn't know what to do, but I knew that we had to solve a problem. We also had to determine who we were going to help. We had lots of discussions about what qualifies as a veteran. The VA has their own requirements for what qualifies as a vet, and we sat around and determined that at the end of the day, we decided that it doesn't matter the outcome or circumstances of your service, we're going to help you if you took the oath. So it didn't matter if you were in for five minutes or 35 years, you're still going to get help from this organization if you need it. And so along with that came the idea of we're just going to be privately funded. So we are raising all of the funds and doing all of this work through the generosity of the community. Three years later, we have an outreach center you know, where we can provide wraparound services. We literally went from working, meeting every Monday at a bar, to working out of my kitchen, to having a 7,000 square foot building to provide all these services. We do information referral, housing placement, job placement, free legal services, and one of our flagship programs, uh, the bus pass. So it's not just housing, it's about budgeting, it's about um, issues that they may have, substance abuse, um, PTSD type issues, things like that. We're going to treat the whole person as a person and then get them the help they need, get them stabilized, and then transition them to programs that already exist, which is another thing that we really, when we started this, wanted to focus on was making sure that we weren't reinventing what other people are already doing. There's a lot of hard work uh, in the community that's going on for veterans and we are very supportive of that. We want to make sure that we're filling a gap. If there's some area that they can't service, we want to be able to service that for the vets, including, again, immediately getting them off the streets. I have been very fortunate in my real estate career to be doing well and wanted to make sure that we could figure out a way to pay that forward to my, my brothers and sisters who also took the oath to serve and haven't fared quite as well as I have yet. So we're going we're gonna to help them get there. When we designed these homes, I designed it with myself in, in mind. You know, because it's, it is housing with dignity. You know, I've been to shelters before, and sometimes I would prefer, I would, st I would stay on the street versus going to a shelter. So it had to be housing with dignity. It had to be somewhere I would go. You know, and that's why we build the homes the way we do. Fourteen years ago, I took an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Anyone who's ever taken that oath takes that oath very seriously to the point of they're willing to give up their lives to do it. One thing the military taught me is we do not leave people behind. And as an organization, we've determined that we're not going to leave anybody behind. It's not okay that we have veterans who are homeless in our community, and we're going to do something about it.